Hey everyone, <clears throat> how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I am working on my car trailer. And um, because I gotta go on a road trip, I have to deliver a mini truck to my buddy Snafu Rich up in Pennsylvania. And then I gotta head over to my brother, Brother Bob, and I gotta pick up a Crown Vic from him and then head back home. I was hoping to get that done this weekend, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So Brother Bob, I'm gonna be sending you a message shortly. Um, Probably next weekend. But anyway, I still gotta go pick up the mini truck. But anyway, so I purchased this trailer last year. I drove it home, everything was fine. Uh, the owner who I got the truck from said that the rear brakes, there was an issue with the rear brakes, they weren't working right, or the rear brakes, the brakes at all. Uh, it's got four wheel drum brakes. Said they weren't working, uh, he wasn't sure what was wrong. So that's what I'm kind of in the middle of trying to figure out. So I'm looking at that. And um, I realize it's a double axle. The front drum brakes are brand new. And it's, it comes as a backing plate assembly and everything else. And they're electric brakes. So I know sometimes people don't understand how electric brakes actually work. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that to you and explain that to you. Uh, but what I had to do to it too is I actually rewired all the lights. All the lights on this thing were just horrible and um i figured let me look at this thing i'm going to wind up repacking the bearings and stuff like that too i did notice that the brakes themselves were way out of adjustment so was it an issue with the adjustment wasn't correct it's possible i don't know but if you have any experience with drum brakes they're very similar but there's one drastic difference the drastic difference is they don't have wheel cylinders or anything to push the shoes out they use an electromagnet attached to a swing arm that controls a cam that pushes the shoes out to make them work. Well, how, how exactly does that work? Well, let me show you. So here is actually my trailer. So as you can see what it looks like. I haven't yet to use it to actually tow a car with it. So this was going to be the first actual trip. There is the bearings. I'm going to clean them up and repack them and put all of this together. But anyway, so here is the braking system. It's got one axle in the front and one axle in the back. It's the same thing. The rear shoes, uh, they can use replacing. I'm not that concerned this year. I'll probably worry about that next year because it's still got some good material on it, but they're older, so they look, look like they're ready to start falling apart. So now this is an electromagnet here, okay? It's wired in. To the trailer harness it doesn't use like a really super heavy gauge wire it's uh, I don't even know 14 gauge wire maybe I don't know 16 gauge don't quote me on that I can't tell you it's it's this type of stuff you know it's nothing dramatic and what happens is like you know those electric brake controllers it sends a certain amount of voltage out to that electromagnet and it energizes it. Well, it's got to get energized and attract to something to actually work. Well, what does it attract to? It attracts to the drum and that's what actually gives it the force to allow the cam to move to allow the shoes to come out. Let me show you. So here is the inside face of the drum and the inside face of the drum there is almost like a flywheel if you can if you think about it that way. So now this electromagnet is constantly riding on that piece here, that basic flywheel. So this, as you see, is also spring-loaded because this wears out. So what happens is, as electric current gets attract, uh, applied to this, it gets magnetized. It gets magnetized. Now the wheel is rotating in this direction. So what happens is, the electromagnet gets attracted to the drum and it's going to pull this way. See that? And when you pull it that way, the shoes come out. So there is still plenty of life left on that electromagnet. There's actually plenty of life left on that electromagnet too. You know, it's just the shoes are getting a little wonky. So like I said, probably next year I'll worry about that. But now this, it has quite a bit. See how far in that can go? That's how you know that they're still pretty darn good. And as you can tell, looking at this design, this is 
somebody replaced these backing plates and this is a newer design it actually has a self adjuster built into it basically the more that the shoes spread out it automatically sets the adjuster which the adjuster is right down there there you see it whereas this one does not have a self adjuster it's a manual adjuster so you have to adjust it yourself so now this same thing as you see that goes that'll move like that what you just heard that clicking noise that was just a spring moving but there you see it's spreading out as you see it was spreading out this one shoe but if the drum was on it would make both shoes spread out so I just kind of want to show you that show you that that whole setup there the other thing that's interesting about trailers and a lot of people don't realize this too is they have um, not all of them but this one has it it has grease fittings that you can actually grease the wheel bearings externally through the grease fitting but there's an issue here let me explain this so there you see the grease fitting at the end and you can actually put a grease gun on that you take the cap off put a grease gun on that you grease it up grease pushes out of the bearing you're all greased up okay what kind of grease is in there some of you may be able to correct me on this if I'm wrong I might be wrong I don't know I was always taught from way back when and I even confirmed this with my good friend Ed Yez that if you mix dissimilar greases you have one type of grease that was already on there and I don't know what that is in this and you add another type of grease to this, what'll happen is the two greases will mix and they will liquefy as they get hot. So now they're almost turned into like a, you know, like a 90 weight oil. And guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna run out. It's gonna, you know, the seal is not designed to withstand or withhold an oil. It's meant to withhold a grease. So now if that stuff gets liquefied, it's gonna seep out of everywhere. And you're gonna wind up making a big mess and you're going to wind up drying up the bearings. So I've heard of that. I was always taught that from years ago. I'm assuming it's still valid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these bearings up, get all the old grease off of it so I don't have to worry about it, and then I'm going to get new grease from my grease gun. I'm going to get cartridges, and then I'm going to put this all together, and I'm going to grease this thing up. And basically what you do is you just grease it up until you see grease start to come out of the front where the front bearing sits. Where this front bearing sits here, you just grease it up till you see it start coming out. But in all honesty, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack the bearings, put everything back together, and then I'm gonna add grease to it just so I know everything's fresh. Cause this road test is probably gonna be, or road trip is probably gonna be, probably 1200 miles in total that I gotta do. So I don't want to have a failure of a, of a wheel bearing while on a road trip because that would be not fun. That'll not that would not be good. That would just um, I've seen axles get destroyed in the process. I don't want that problem. So anyway, that's where that lies. Um, I thought I'd show you that. Maybe when I repack these bearings and put this back together this weekend, like I said, I was hoping to go on this road trip, but that ain't happening. Um, Maybe to do that this weekend, I'll show you how I'm going to wind up repacking these bearings. So, anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to show you that. Hopefully you got something out of that video. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.